In this lesson, we are going to convert static home page to dynamic one. We are going to define an arrays of products inside data.js and then create app.js and link that to the index.html. And inside this JavaScript file, we are going to create a render function that convert products array to HTML element in the screen. First of all, let's create data.js inside front end folder. In this RC folder, right click, new file, and set the file name to data.js. First of all, we need to export an object that contains products as a property, and products, it's an array of products. Let's do that, export default, and I'm going to return an object. This object contains products and products, it's an array. The first element of this array is an object which describe a product. Let's set an ID, I set it to a string one, name, let's say full zip running, shirts category shirts image i'm going to set it to slash images slash product dash one dot jpg set price to 60 dollar and brand to let's say skewing and set rating to let's say 4.5 and num reviews equal to 10. The last property for this product is gonna be count in stock and let's make it like six. So here is the first product. What I'm gonna do is to duplicate this product five times and at the end I will have six products like this change the name and other information bits based on your preference and also the products should be in a reasonable scale but what you can do is to go to my git repository for this project and download data.js and also all images inside image folder in the git repository for this project i'm going to make them ready like this as you see here is a list of six products and you can type them directly or you can use them from my repository also for images i'm going to do the same i'm going to copy the images to this folder and there we go there are six images here and also in the data.js, there is six products inside product array. Great. Let's go back to plan. After creating data.js and exporting arrays of six products, it's time to create home screen inside a screen. Let's go to SRC, right click, new folder, and set folder name to screens. Inside a screens folder, create new file and set file name to home screen.js. Next step should be export home screen as an object with render method. Inside here, I define const home screen and it's like an object and it contains a method like render equal to a function in this function i'm going to return an unordered list of products let's implement this here i'm going to use template literals and inside that press enter so it's possible for us to return an string with multiple lines and also we can use javascript object inside template literals using dollar sign curly braces first of all 
create a UL and set class of this UL to products. And inside that, here I am going to get access to the products inside data.js. So I just put a dollar sign curry braces and type products and use map to convert each product inside products array to LIs. So inside this, I'm going to use another backtick and press enter. And here, what I need to do is to define an LI. And inside this LI, let's close that. I'm going to use the content that I already created in previous sessions inside index.html. Right here, I'm going to copy one of this LI's content only. Yeah, this part. And paste them right here and create indentation to make them, you know, clear. And as you see here, I'm defining all information about a product. So by having this, I'm ready to update static data like product title, brand, and others based on the product object. So instead of having this address, which is a static, I use dollar sign curry braces and use product dot image. Instead of having a static alt for product one, I replace that with product.name. For href, instead of having something like this, I get rid of that and convert that with product.underlineID. For product name, it should be converted to product.name. And for brand, it's gonna be product.brand. And the last one is about price, dollar sign, product dot price. So we just created a render function that convert product array to a list of LIs inside a UL. Here we need to import products from data.js. What I need to do is to run import data from dot dot slash data dot js the reason i'm using dot dot because i'm in the screen folder i need to go back to src folder from here and then get access to data dot js also inside the render function i define const products equal to data so i'm using the constructing assignment because I'm going to get access to property products inside data. That's the way I can use in ES6 version of JavaScript. That's it for this part. Let's go in the readme file and follow the plan. What I did so far is to implement render method of home screen. I just imported data.js and also I return product mapped to LIs inside UL. The next step is gonna be creating app.js and inside that I need to link it to index.html as a module. In the src folder, right click, new file and set file name to app.js and go to index.html and in the head section, right after title, create a script tag set type to module and set src to app.js and close it. By setting type to module, it's possible to use app.js as an independent module inside your index.html. That's it for configuring index.html and it's time to go to app.js and start coding here. Let's go back to plan and here it's time to 
set main ID to main container inside index.html. Inside index.html for the main section, I'm going to set the ID of main to main dash container. Let's go back to plan. After setting this to main dash container, it's time to create a rotor function inside app.js and set main container inner HTML home screen dot render. So inside app.js, what I'm gonna do is to define rotor function like this. And inside that, I need to get access to main container const main equal to document dot get element by id and the name of id is main container after that i need to set main dot inner html equal to home screen dot render like this it's time to import home screen in the home screen.js at the very end i need to export home screen so at the end of it type export default home screen like this and inside app.js to import home screen here type import home screen from dot slash screens slash home screen so that's it for importing home screen. Let's go back to plan. We need to set load event of the window to router function. Let's do that in the app.js at the very end. Window.addEventListener for load event, set it to router function. Don't forget, you need to prefix that with JS here. And let's see what we have right now. As you see, we have this result. And if you see a comma here, you can get rid of comma by doing this inside home screen.js and right after the map function at the very end of the last, you know, right after the closing parentheses of map function put join and slash n let's check the result uh -huh. this time we have dynamic data here let's get rid of static content inside main container in index.html you know i'm going to cut all of them and get rid of them you see i have only a main element like this and if i refresh as you see, I have all content, but this time this content are dynamic. Let's say if you change this one from this to 95, what happens in the data.js, change 60 to 95 and save it. You see, you have this change instantly right here. Very good. What we did for this session is to convert index.html with static products to dynamic one that rendered by javascript we have used three files the app.js like this uh, it just called the render method of home screen and also a home screen object that contains render method that convert products array to ul and allies and also a data.js which is the data center of this project for the front end part okay so in the next lesson what we want to do is to create router you know when you click on a product and change the url it should show the details of the product until that lesson bye bye